Hey everyone, good morning. And we're today coming at you from outside of Birmingham, Alabama at Alabama Adventure and Splash Adventures Water Park and Amusement Park. This is a brand new park for us. It's rare that I get to go to a new amusement park. So excited for this one. Really, I've heard great things about Rampage. Yeah. I, I go by the legend of my wonderful girlfriend, Molly. We're excited to check this place out. It is owned by uh, Dan Cook, formerly of Holiday World. So uh, I'm excited to go ride a wooden coaster. As with a lot of theme parks, when you first walk in, you're greeted with kind of a main street area. Pretty nicely done. It's interesting, like you can tell they used to have like a balloon Ferris wheel ride, and now, well, those are just decorations. But uh, here we go, we're inside. So let's kick off the tour of Alabama Adventure here with the park's marquee attraction, and that is Rampage, a big wooden roller coaster. This yeah, thing is giant. It, yeah. Very long. It's built on a hill, and uh, it's pretty awesome. Just got uh, three rides on it two in the back row, one in the front row. I would say the one in the front row was much better. As uh, back row, a little bit jittery, a little bit rough, but uh, good ride. Mixes like airtime with laterals, really long. Yes. And a cool setting. It's built on a hill. You see uh, the trees. Yeah. I, I like this ride a lot. I'll give it a thumbs up. I'm not sure. Like some of the other in the loop staff has this like in their top 10 wooden coasters. I probably wouldn't rank it that high, but uh, it, it's. It's good. Yeah. I might even say very good. But I would say if you're a coaster fan, it's probably worth the trip. It's uh, about $34 after uh, when you buy your tickets online to get in. But uh, this, if you're a coaster fan, is definitely worth the price of admission alone. Also, the day we're here, there's no one there. They let us re-ride without getting out of the seat, so that was pretty cool. Uh, so there we go, that's Rampage. So now let's talk about the Splash Adventure Water Park area. This water park is included with your admission to Alabama Adventures, and it's actually pretty nice. You can see the big wave pool here, kind of basic, but you know it, it does the it does a pretty good job. I will say, like the uh, like that blue pavement is super duper slippery outside the wave pool, so be careful there. I I almost bit it, and I almost bit it hard. But the water park it's actually really nice. It's uh, much much nicer than the dry park is, and I feel like that's probably where most of the guests go during their trip to Alabama Adventure. Like, that's probably the highlight. Uh, this slide here is the best part of the water park. This is called Up Surge, and uh, it's one of those, I've never been on it before. You go up a wave wall, and then uh, you go backwards over a little airtime hill. This thing was really, really cool. Um, honestly, it's probably one of the top 10 water slides I've ever been on. I'm not the biggest water park slide. So you can see it there, and then it comes back, and then you go over a little airtime hill. It was so cool. Also, the day I went, there was like nobody at the water park, and that's when I find water parks to be really a good time. Like, if you gotta wait, 45 minutes for a 30 second slide, it's probably not worth it. But the day I went, there was nobody there and it was really, really wonderful. You can see the big speed slide over there. They do a lazy river in their water park. You can see that here with the little waterfall. Uh, one thing for distancing purposes, they were not allowing like tubes in the lazy river. So you just walked the lazy river and it, that was kind of awkward. That was a little bit weird. Here you can see the big speed slide, free fall. Didn't do that one. I did do the, the yellow and... Uh, and red little slide that's called Twister. That was pretty good. Felt like a cruise ship slide. Then over here on the left, this is Neptune's Plunge. These uh, four slide complexes. These are tube slides where you could ride with your buddy. And these are kind of a water park staple, but also really fun. I mean, that, that that's a pretty good slide. Now, this is weird. This is the Aqua Maze, which is exactly what it sounds like. It's a big maze where you walk through, you get lost, and there's fountains and stuff that sprays you. Um, bonus points for being unique. I, I don't think I've seen something like this before. It was weird. And it was harder than it looked. Like, I think Molly and I were in there for probably about seven to ten minutes before we made our way out. But it was pretty neat. Uh, great water park for kids, too. You can see the big tipping bucket area here. And that's one of three different kids areas they have in this water park. I didn't film the other two, but you get the idea. So really good water park if you have little ones with you. I love this. So you can rent cabanas. But what I love, the cabanas are named after the different Pepsi products that are available in the park. So I guess that's a, an interesting sponsorship kind of thing. Uh, free sunblock at Alabama Splash Adventure. That's something, you know, uh, that they do at Holiday World as well. So that's always good, especially if you're super pale like me. Now, weird stuff, too. Like, in the water park, there's a Wild West dive show. And, uh, like, it's an odd thing to have in your water park. One of those kind of quirky things. But there's also a bar. If you want to spend $7 on a Bud Light, you could do it here at Alabama Adventure's water park, which is really just... The bar is really in the corner by itself. It's right next to that. And there, <laughs> there's Touchdown! This just some sign says touchdown. So this section of the park is the country fair brought to you by Pepsi and 102.5 The Bull. 
And you got kind of your, your standard carnival kind of rides, a, a big yo-yo. I do like how in the rocking tug area, they've got like a little bit of a nautical village thing going on. And then you've also got more standard stuff here, like a, a, a scrambler and a tilt-a-whirl. It's also kind of mesmerizing because you can see all the rides are going at once. Spinning, yeah. yeah, everything is spinning. Which is interesting because there's like 30 people in the park. So one awesome thing here at Alabama Adventure, it's free soft drinks. You just walk up there, let them know what you want, and you got the you get Gatorade, I'm drinking a Sierra Mist. And also, I'm, I'm mesmerized by the photo, as I believe that's the owner in a, a very flashy suit. Wa Willy Wonka. I, I was thinking Dumb and Dumber, you were thinking Willy Wonka. but it, not It's not the right color for Dumb and Dumber. No, but it's the same kind of style. Ah, Willy Wonka. A couple more kids rides over here. You've got a, uh, a kiddie coaster called the Century Speed, just your normal wacky worm. And then are these like little pedal cars? I think so. Okay. Ah, yes they are. Which are fun? Like uh, like the Huff and Puff at uh, Knott's Berry Farm? Yeah. Or that, that thing we did at Idlewild? <laughs> yeah. That's a really, really cute ride for kids. You're riding these little hand cars and you have to pump them to go around the, the track there kind of interesting here just uh, there's a giant rock in the middle of the park big standard swinging ship style ride i find it interesting it's got the manufacturer right on there in big bold letters but uh a nicer looking one than some of them yeah got a little kids train ride over here but it features what might be my second favorite thing here at alabama adventure this pregnant cat. I think it's supposed to be a fat cat. All right, let us know in the comment section below. Do you think the cat is pregnant or fat? Either way, it's very smiley. Here is the side profile of pregnant and or fat cat. Got a nicely detailed little kid's boat ride. A couple a little bit newer kids rides over here with the the drop zone tower, and you've got the little hopping frogs ride. You've also got uh, some fun photo ops over here. You can take your picture in a giant Alabama adventure chair. A uh, pretty, pretty standard giant photo op in touristy areas. Standard like little kids teacup ride. Dad kind of looks funny sitting in there. Yeah. Probably. So definitely a bit of a strange park. As you can tell, there's lots of areas that used to be like theme park area and are now just closed off. I've been trying to follow the map to find out where the tavern is and uh, I don't feel like we're supposed to be in this part of the park. It's kind of a weird place, guys. Also looks like there's an old, hasn't worked in years, log flume over there. And there's supposed to be like a, a dive show? I don't know. It's this odd. The Alabama Adventure is a little bit on the strange side. Uh, kind of feels like you're in a zombie film as there's like nobody here. We're in the Main Street area. And we're like the only ones here. And then you got a lot of a lot of closed buildings on their Main Street as well, like a closed theater. Uh, over here's an arcade that doesn't operate. So a little bit of an odd feeling. So let's take a look at some of the merch here at uh, Alabama Adventure. Nice beach bag. Yeah, very nice. Mm -hmm. Of course, going with the Alabama theme, there's Roll Fly. And, and Wave Eagle for Alabama Adventure. We got some koozies. Very important, the Alabama Splash Adventure shot glasses. Uh, penguins, always a big plus for me. You have some, not the greatest looking of snow globes. All right, so we got a whole bunch of different mugs and glassware and animals. They don't have a whole lot of like poster shirts it's kind of this one for Rampage, and that's not not my style, I would say. Mm -hmm. We got a couple more over here. But positive that they have it. Yeah, they, they do have Sometimes some parks don't have any of that. Um, kind of a limited selection of merch here. You do have the big, uh, I guess, a, a cover-up kind of thing for uh, ladies going to the swim park. Mm -hmm. The hoodie's not bad. Yeah, no, that's really nice. Mm -hmm. And then I found this to be interesting. 
Uh, I'm pretty sure these are the shirts that the employees wear. So uh, if you ever wanted to cosplay as a Alabama Adventure employee, you could do it for 15 bucks. Yeah, good Halloween costume. Yeah. <laughs> All right, that's kind of the, the gift shop offerings here. Well, that'll do it for our time here at Alabama Adventure and Alabama Splash Adventure, or Alabama Adventure Amusement Park and Splash Adventure Water Park. Uh, Molly, what were your thoughts on the park experience today? We were here for about three hours. Uh, the staff was really friendly. Yes, the, uh, the staff was really, really friendly. All of them were in a great mood. Mm -hmm. I love I loved the free soda and yes. the free sunscreen. That Very was nice. It did, you definitely get some Holiday World vibes mm -hmm. with the friendly staff, the sunscreen. The Rampage is a really good uh, yes. uh, ride. It is. I feel like it doesn't. It doesn't fit in with the rest of the park. No, like, it does so not. You got like a mediocre, very mediocre collection of aging flat rides, and a lot of kids rides, and then a uh, a fantastic wooden roller coaster. Yep. Landscape thing was really impressive. We saw a lot of landscapers. Yep. There were uh, people out there taking care of stuff. Yep. Then you also got weird sections of the park where like, up oh, that totally used to be a thing, or like. Am I supposed to be walking in here? Yeah, it's not closed on the map, but I'm definitely not supposed to be here. Yeah, uh, the water park was a good time. I definitely think the water park is in a better condition than the dry park. Yes. Um, it was also where most of the attendance was today. So uh, I, I, could, I could definitely see this park at some point cutting its dry rides, which don't draw a crowd and just keeping the, the water park. And man, that, uh, that uphill, downhill kind of ups, I think it's upsurge. That was so much fun. That's one of my favorite water slides I've ever been on. It was good. It was good for me. You were, you did not no. much. You were making some noises like. Aah. Well, I am not a big water park fan. So. Yes, especially a, a more crazy. Like I want them to take that ride and put it on the back of a cruise ship. Yeah, you would love that. Yeah, I mean it would probably wouldn't work with wind and whatnot, but yeah. in my head it would be really neat. <laughs> um, so there you go, um, Alabama Adventure. I'm not sure if I would recommend going too far out of your way to come and visit this. I think if you're driving past, it's definitely worth a stop. Or if you are big into water parks, can you? Yeah, but even that, I mean. Uh, I don't know. It's not the biggest water park. I feel like uh, for $34 with the unlimited soda and the free sunscreen and, and no parking charge, I feel like we definitely made our money worth. Yeah. And uh, Rampage is definitely the star of the show here. And it's, it's also, it's kind of a weird place. Uh, it, it, it doesn't feel like you're at a Six Flags. No. All right, guys. Well, thank you for watching. If you have any questions about Alabama Adventure, let us know in the comments section below, and we'll be, do our best to get back to you. And thanks for watching.